A lot is going to depend on what comes back from the FBI in terms of their their additional number seven investigation. But I think that Judge Kavanaugh is doing very well right now. Hopefully, as Mitch said, they'll have a vote by the end of the week and it will be a positive vote. But it will be dependent on what comes back from the FBI. The president making those comments on the White House lawn today just before departing Washington. And after a stop in Philadelphia, the president is now just across the Arkansas border in South Haven, Mississippi. He's campaigning for a Republican U.S. Senate candidate in a tight race. But even though the target is Mississippi politics, Arkansans are among the crowd to hear his message. Including our very own Jesse Tenor. She joins us live from South Haven, where the president will be speaking shortly. She joins us live. Jesse. <laughs> Yeah, Donna and Kevin, there are thousands here at the Landers Center in South Haven, anxiously awaiting the president's arrival. The rally officially kicks off in about an hour. Now, we have met supporters from Mississippi, Tennessee, Missouri, Alabama, and yes, even Arkansas. They said that they made the trip because this is history and they couldn't miss it. We spoke with a 19-year-old student who made the drive by himself from Manila. That's about an hour and a half. He was one of the first in line outside at about 5 o'clock this morning. He says he actually turned 18 the day before the 20th. 2016 election, so he was able to vote for Trump after all. Another Trump voter, a retired educator from Marion, that's a little bit shorter of a drive, about 30 minutes. She brought her granddaughter and a friend. Tonight she shared an important message hoping that these, uh, hoping that these elections instead unify the country. It is more divided than I have ever seen it in my lifetime. Um, and I think there's ugliness on both sides. And I think that um, we need to express love and not hate. Uh, because I think that um, that's how things will be solved. Some locals just started talking right now, but I want to talk a little bit about the crowd. You never kind of know what to expect in some of these Trump rallies, but overall, this crowd has been pretty subtle. There's been an occasional fake news or liberal, liberal media jab, but it's been mostly with, you know, fun, no, nothing hostile or anything like that. As far as Trump's message, if he stays on script from last night in Tennessee, he'll talk about Kavanaugh, who Don and Kevin, you guys just talked about. I'm sure that will come up. Also, the recent trade agreement. Jesse Tenor.